Welcome to our three-part series on building out story reports. Uh, today's video, part one, we are going to introduce the foundation uh, for story reports, which is the query. So let's get going. Okay, welcome to this video. What we are going to cover today is kind of foundational to the story reports, and that is to talk about how the query tables work together. So I was going to really kind of dive in and talk about the overall data models within Employee Central. And you know, as I looked at the story reports, I decided that that's probably a little bit of overkill because the story reports themselves have actually done a pretty good job of simplifying the process for us, and as, as I'll show you in a minute. But what we want to just cover in this session is just to talk about how these tables are kind of linked together in, in where we probably want to start most of the time. So with that said, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to just jump in and I'm gonna click and start a new story report. So today we're not going to actually produce any output. Really all we're going to do is we're going to just drop some tables onto the query designer so that you can kind of see how the inner relationships between the tables work. So, it, you know, as I as you see on the right side are all of the different available data elements for you. And so, as you can see here, I could scroll down through here. Of course, the the really great thing about story reports is it does not it is not limited down to just employee central it's it's actually across a lot of different modules and so you know you've got you got a lot of flexibility there of course i'm going to be talking about this from an employee central point of view so i'm going to be really focused in on a few of these so the ones that are related to specifically to employee central now there's some things that are tangential but I, you know really we get down to we have we have compensation employee central we have we have employment, we have personal information, oh, foundation objects, of course, that's a that's central to Employee Central. And then we under person, we have personal information. So those are the key things that you would probably be using. And that that the it constitutes the bulk of the functionality within Employee Central. So you know, the question always is, where do you start when you're building out a report? And so there's a different, you know, there's lots of different places you could start. Any one of those that I just mentioned, compensation, foundation objects, personal information, those are all reasonable starting points. But, you know, as I as I look around, in, in almost all cases, the, to me, what makes the most sense as your starting point is to use job information. And the reason is the job information really they the it looks like the intent that success factors is provided is that job information really should be the starting point because as you'll see when I drop this on here now the cool thing about the way that this works is immediately once I drop this on here it's going to uh, decide you click here and then you get this little icon this icon says show related tables now when I click on this you're going to see a ton of tables or or related objects appear and that's and that's really uh, kind of goes to show you that this is kind of the nerve center so if you click on if you create job information and you Use that as your starting point then basically you're saying I'm going to pull the data my starting point is going to be the the job information for the employees so in almost all cases this would work I mean you could make it like if you're wanting to run a report and you're wanting to download instead of just starting at the job information and let's say I wanted to, to do a, run a report of compensation information like I wanted to download a report of I don't know everybody that's got a, a recurring payment of, of a certain type then you probably want to start with compensation information in that case but if you're wanting to do just a generic report like let's say I want to see all of the salaried employees in a certain location or something like that then this job information is really the best starting point for you even if you're trying to get to if uh, get to some personal information the job information still may be the right spot for you so when I click on job information if I click on 
this uh, related table, you can see here that that really opens up and there is a ton of information that's available to you. So one thing to note here that I, that, that I kind of glossed over and we'll talk about this more in other videos, but uh, you select columns from here. So if I click here, then I can, you know, of course I have access to everything that's on the employee's job information. And so I can select, you know, any kind of fields that I want and include that in my output. So that's, that's an important point. Now, the next thing to note here is let's say, you know, from here, I can, when you click down through here, there are, there are a couple of things that are just um, out, you know, right off the bat that you can get to, but also there's, there's branches down below here. So I'm going to select person and then from under person, you can see I have personal information. So I'm just going to click and I'm going to add that table to my query. So what that allows me to do is from here, then I would be able to pull job information inf fields as well as, as personal information fields. So, you know, you can see that that, you know, the functionality that, that exists. So hold on, I was trying not to do that. I was trying to get this to go away. No, 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 no. Let's see here. So let me, let me just keep going because I, I do want to show, okay, so we have personal information. What I want to show, let's see if this, is gonna let me do it. I wanna show the, okay, yeah, I've got that selected. And, all right, so close that. You can see here I've got personal, person information, and then I can also choose related tables from there. So if I wanted to say, okay, I've got some personal information and I want to add related information from personal information, I can do that here. The other, I can add other tables though, if I want to. So if I want to just add, if I want to go to compensation information, for example, I could get to that. If I have, so you can see here, there's a lot of, of, of MDF objects that are in job information that I can also get access to from job and from from job information. So any any custom MDF object or non uh, custom MDF object I can get to by going down through this list. But for now I'm just going to also just add compensation information. So you can see here I could add in if I wanted to pull data from compensation information. I can do that here. I can add personal information and oh finally I can see this. So this is what I wanted to show a second ago. So if I highlight this, what you can see here is right now this is all set as a left join. And so what a left join means is that it is going to take all of the information from here and then all of the matching information from here. So in this case there should be no there should be no difference because everyone should have job information. I guess if you're not a contractor, I mean, if you're a contractor, you may not have compensation information, but you are going to have personal information. So left join means that it's going to pull everybody because they all have job information. And that's what a left join means. Now, inner join means that, and I think I can, I can see, if I click here, I can also change this from a left join which means I'm going to get all the job information and then just places where in, in if, there, if there were people that were missing comp information, you'd still get their, their job information. If I just do an inner join, that means that I only want the people if they have job information, comp information, and personal information. Or actually in this case, we're just doing this join is just between job and comp. So this would just be if, if I selected this and I wanted to do just intersecting, then if, if someone happened to be missing compensation information, then job information would would draw would would be limited or would be eliminated uh, eliminated for that person as well. So though, that's an important point here is that that there's this this join that you use. So you can see that's how I can add fields here, and then from and then. You know, the other thing that you can do is you really can just kind of play around and see what kind of information you can add. So, for example, I want to, let's say if I wanted to add the position and I wanted to add details from the position, I can do that as well. So, I could add position. And then if I wanted to add related fields off the position, you can see I can do, I could look at the foundation objects that are tied to the position. You can also look at the foundation objects that are tied directly to the job information. So there's a lot of flexibility here, but you can see, you can start to see how this all adds up. So I can just be adding in values as a, you can click on and you know, it, as long as it makes logical sense, you can pretty much just add anything you need to. And that the great thing is success factors is already going to give you, you know, access to this. 
this. It's going to already have figured out, you know, what what kind of data, you know, you want to that could potentially be included. And and so the, these kind of interrelationships will happen as well. And then, um, you know, as I mentioned, you also have access to. It's not just employee central data that you can get to. You can start. You can start walking from employee central data to like here's goal management. It's got men mentoring program as an example, performance management. So you can see here that that the query designer gives you access so you can just start. The, the important thing is that you need to start somewhere. And I would say in most cases, your your best bet is to start a job information because that's going to be, that's going to give you the most navigation possibilities. And for the most part, you're going to run, you know, whatever your query is, is going to be something Thing that you know job information is probably fundamental so for example if you wanted to have only active employees the perfect place to start then is job information because job information is where those criteria are are, are stored and or if you wanted to slice down to only a certain portion of the org structure that's where of course job information is the right thing for that as well so Again, this is just kind of a primer on how you can go about adding tables and you know subsequently we're going to be looking at how to add uh, fields and filters. But this is kind of the starting point is just this is how you navigate around and look for different jobs or lift different tables in the structure.